All right, guys. Here's um. So, cells. What do you think of when you hear the word cell? You might think of something like a part or a block. You might think of a cage or prison or something. But nope, that's not what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, I'm thinking of the cells in biology. In biology, cells are the smallest, most simple building block of life. Every living thing is made up of cells, such as you know plants, and then there's humans, and then there's animals, and then there's even some single-celled organisms like bacteria and stuff like that. So there are a couple different kinds of cells, but I'm going to be focusing on two main ones today, which are animal and plant cells. So right here is a model of an animal cell, and it has many different organelles, which is floating in a fluid called cytoplasm. So right here, we have centrioles, and along with these microtubules over here, they help support the cell and give it structure and shape. Right here, we have the mitochondria, which give the cell power. Right here, we have the ribosomes, which are uh, give, making protein. The Golgi bodies and apparatus, they package that protein. The lysosome right here, it uh, cleans the cell, and these rough and smooth ER, or endoplasmic reticulum, moves the packages around the cell. And in the very middle, there is a nucleus, a nucleolus. And around the cell, we have the cell membrane. So, it seems pretty complicated, and it is, because there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's also, there's another one, which is the plant cell. And the plant cell is, some, it has some similarities, but there's also some things that are different about the uh, plant cell. So right here we have a plant cell, and there's things that are the same. Here's the mitochondria right here. Um, but there's also some different things right here, right here. We have the chloroplasts, and they contain chlorophyll. Um, here's the Golgi bodies and apparatus. It's the same thing, but right here we have a one large central vacuole, which stores and holds water. Here's the rough and smooth ER, or endoplasmic reticulum. Here's the uh, ribosomes right here. Um, here's the nucleus and nucleolus, which is the command center. And on the outside edges, we have a cell membrane, but there's also a cell wall, which keeps out everything. So membranes, like members only, cell wall, it's just keeping everything out. So this may, this may seem a little confusing, but don't worry, because I've prepared a Venn diagram um, right here. Um, there's some things in common, like this, the nucleolus and nucleus, which is the main control center. We have the mitochondria. I, I just made them look different. Just did the same thing. Um, here's the smooth and rough ER, which packages or endoplasmic reticulum. Here's the uh, cell membrane, which is members only. Here's the Golgi body and Golgi apparatus right down here. And then we have the ribosomes right here. Um, they both have um, these uh, vacuoles, but the plant cell is bigger because it has more water. They both have lysosomes, but the animal cell has more than the plant cell. The chloroplasts over here for the plant cell, um, the chloroplasts have chlorophyll, which is needed for photosynthesis. The cell wall keeps out everything. It's like a brick wall. Um, these microtubules down here, if you put nine in a cylindrical shape, you get a um, one of these. And then, yeah, maybe this can help you uh, understand. But cells, you might be wondering right now, or here's a question, how big are cells? Well, to tell you, they're really not that big, because the, the average cell, depending on what type of cell it is, is between 1 and 100 micrometers long. And 1 micrometer is like, one micrometer is a millionth of a meter, a millionth with a th. That is m pretty tiny. So, in the average, so depending on how big your foot is, uh, for example, this is my foot inching towards you right here. <laughs> uh, in the average uh, little toe on your foot, the average little toe has about two to three billion cells in it. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. So you might be wondering, hey, how many cells are in my entire body? Well, it's about 10 trillion cells in your entire body, or about 10 to the 12th power. That's just, that's more cells than people on this earth. So for another example, there's a human hair right there, one strand of human hair. But that's about, about 10 cells wide, not long, wide, thick, you know. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, oh yeah, and in your whole body, you have about 200 different types of cells, each individual cell. 
200 different types. So you may not think much about yourself, you may not think that you're you know, very unique, but each one of your cells just makes you a very complex and unique person. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.